Hello and welcome to our very first episode of our pets video series. Uh, one of the most important things to discuss when it comes to dogs is when is the right age to actually separate a puppy from his mother and other siblings. So we are going to discuss the, this topic today with Dr. Akshay Prakash. Thank you for coming here, doctor. Um, so let's start with the first question. What is the right age to separate a puppy from his mother and the rest of the litter? According to me, it's always best time when the uh, puppies are able to take food of their own, especially the solid foods. And it's usually after 8 to 12 weeks of age. That's the best way and best time for weaning the puppies. Okay, so um, why is it so important not to separate the puppy from his mother before that age? Uh, usually, see, we can teach our uh, pets what we uh, behaviors and all. But what the dog mother will teach to her puppy will be totally different. Like the dog behaviors, uh, she will teach a lot of things which we cannot teach at all. Uh, like even uh, holding a human hand, even how, when to hold a bite, which will be painful. Those things, those behaviors, uh, being a social, being socializing, those things, we cannot teach them. So if we take up a puppy for a, uh, uh, before that period of time, maybe we will find some other problems happening with the puppy, which will be very difficult for us to correct. So, but they can be corrected, I suppose, later on with the help of a dog behavior. Yeah, you can always correct that, but that will be a secondary thing. Uh, you may feel like some animals may, some dogs may take more time to learn those things. But the best way is the mother can teach the uh, puppy on their own. So basically puppies learn better from their dogs in general, yeah. learn better from their kind than from us. Yes. So it's actually the dog behavior learn more better by the dogs. Itself. Okay, so in, you spoke about issues or problems that the puppy may later on have if he's separated earlier or too early from his mother. Can you elaborate on, yeah, a little so, bit on this? Uh, suppose if we take a, a puppy away from the mother, there is some, the first thing it comes like there could be a separation anxiety, okay. some behavioral issue can come. So they need some social all the time because they have been in contact with the human all the time. Mm -hmm. They need that when and when you are out for an office in the uh, when you come back you find that your sofa has been torn your uh, bed sheet has been torn the okay. pillows are all gone so separation anxiety is one of the yeah. reasons yeah the biggest and can cause lots of problem and okay. because they have not been uh, properly socialized Social. another issue can come and since uh, can they have problems with other dogs yeah they can because they will. They are not used to having other dogs in their uh, vicinity. Mm -hmm. They will feel like those are uh, different animals. Okay. Yeah. So they will most of all consider them like enemies. Yes, enemies. So that's very important age. They learn lots of things. We have to keep them with the other puppies, especially the siblings. Mm -hmm. So even when while playing, while uh, uh, the mother teaches them how to play and all uh, the games they do with the siblings. That time they learn how to uh, stop the bite which will be dangerous for the okay. other, other dog. So this we cannot teach. This we can, yeah. Yeah. So that always has to be with the mother or the siblings which by no chance we can teach. So in fact when the dog is playing he will be knowing when is the limit he has to stop mm. biting. So okay because his mother, his own mother will correct yes. like if the bite is too hard. or. Dr. Akshay, um, can a puppy develop further health issues because he separated too early from the mother? Like we spoke about um, behavioral issues, what about health issues? Yeah, so uh, as you know, this uh, mother's milk is very important for the puppy. Mm -hmm. So since you are separating a little early, lots of antibodies which has to come from mother to the puppy doesn't come or it comes in a very small amount. So the first thing will be the immune system will be down. Okay. Other health issues will be like the body growth will be not so proper. The size, it may not attain what it should attain. So uh, these are the problems, some of the problems which can cause. Uh, so this in terms of uh, dogs that are like a particular breed, like or, or breed yes. dogs in general. Yes. Um, is, does this apply, does this, uh, two months rule apply for all 
Uh, yeah, it's almost for all, but not for the miniature breeds like this Chihuahua, uh, small breeds. These require a little more time to learn, okay. more time to uh, learn from the mother, sibling. They are slow learners. So they require a little more time compared to the, uh, the normal breeds. So maybe uh, three to four, four months also is a good time. But usually if you can let them stay with the siblings and the mother for a longer time, it's always best. So for uh, small breeds, we need to let them, to leave them with their mother for a longer time than yes. mid, medium size or larger size breeds. Okay, that's a very good point. Yeah. I'm sure Teddy agrees. <laughs> Um, one last question, we are not only talking about dog breeds, so there we have lots of uh, street dogs in India. What about if we just find a small puppy on the street, uh, we can't locate the family or the mother or the other siblings, what can we do in this case? And obviously the puppy is so small that it's under the two months old threshold. So, so what should we do in this case? In such cases like the street dog, the street puppy, the Indian dog. You have found a street dog on the road, it's a puppy, you do not know about its mother, it's a vaccination status, nothing. So the first thing will be, you should go to the vet. The vet, the vet will examine, he will check, he will do all the, param check the, all the parameters if everything is normal and give you a schedule to follow. And suppose it's very small, then you will always have to try to find a mother who is already having some puppies and introduce this puppy with them. And if the mother doesn't accept the puppy? Then you have to try uh, milk feeding with the bottle. That's the only option. Yeah, bottle feeding has to be done. And um, in terms of behavioral issues? Yeah, so again... Uh, is it a, actually, doctor, actually, is it a rule that any early separated puppy will have behavioral issues? It's not the rule, but its chances are more. So okay. it's, yeah, you should always try to get it socialized. So you should always try to get that puppy adopted to a house where they already have dogs, okay. where they can socialize, get interacted with other dogs. So it's easy for them to learn there and even behave also properly. And a lot of things becomes easy for the pet parent. So most of the things they will learn from the dogs with them. Thank you, Dr. Akshay. Thank you for watching our first episode of the Video Pet Series. Keep an eye on us. We'll be very active on Facebook and YouTube, so stay tuned.